What up, what up, what up? DJ here with another five for five, where I gotta get five things that I like about something and five things that I don't like about something, regardless if I really want to or not. Today we're here to talk about Anime LA. Okay, not doing that again. All right guys, number one for ALA. It's an anime convention. If you like anime, this is the place to be. You're gonna see all types of cosplay, all types of boots, and you know, all types of anime enthusiasts. So, great. Good spot. On the other hand, it's a really small convention. I took all of five minutes walking the whole grounds, saw some stuff I liked, bought some stuff I liked, and bounced out. So on one hand, anime enthusiasts unite. On the other hand, con itself disperse. All right, guys, let's get into my number twos. It's ALA. Why the hell is this damn thing in Ontario, California, when it's ALA? What the crap? So, I gotta drive all the way to freaking the Inland Empire just to make this damn convention? Are you serious? On the other hand, once you do get there, it's, a good, it's good energy. Like, it feels good. Everybody's in high spirits. Everyone's taking pictures, chilling out, mingling. It's a good time. So, no doubt. On one hand, ALA in Ontario, California. What the shit? On the other hand, I mean, once you get there, you know, it's all good. You know, it's all right. So, let's talk about some number threes. You don't really need a badge to enjoy ALA. You can make the trip over and spend most of your time outside. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of mingling, cosplayers, food trucks, always a personal favorite of mine. So, cool, don't need a badge. On the other hand, you really don't need a badge. You kind of feel ripped off if you did buy one because most of the action does happen outside of the con itself. So, on one hand, you don't need a badge. That's awesome, that's great. On the other hand, I don't need a badge. Why'd I buy the damn thing? Number four, the cosplays. It's really, really cool to see everyone's individual hard work and effort put into these cosplays. They look really great, and shout out to my ladies out there just looking all cute and dainty and like your maid outfits and your Overwatch outfits and just looking so, so pretty. On the other hand, some of these ladies in maid outfits and Overwatch outfits aren't always chicks. It's like, hey, Look at you, you're really cute. Wait, I'm looking at it closer. That's dick. So on one hand, great job with the cosplays. On the other hand, dick. Finally, our number fives. If you're going to ALA, you're going for one reason. The after parties, y'all, man, they are so juiced and it goes everywhere. We're talking about hotels across the streets. We're talking about lobbies. We're talking about rooms being filled up and everyone's invited. We're talking about going until 6 o'clock in the morning. Shout out to Denny's for being the only place open 6 o'clock in the morning when you got the munchies. So, party it out. On the other hand, damn, some of the things that happen in there are unmentionables. You kind of have to go and see it for yourself to believe it, so I'm going to leave it at that. So, on one hand, parties, y'all. Parties, y'all. On the other hand, what happens in ALA stays in ALA. All right, guys, so that was my five for five for ALA in Ontario, California for some damn reason. Did you guys go to this convention this year? Are you guys thinking about going next year? Let me know. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with everything trending in geek pop culture.